What I want to show you is some photographs that we've done um, which have a personal meaning for me. What we're looking at now is our latest collections over the last 12 months, um, which show a nice variation on work and feeling for today. I think it's interesting just to see how photography through the years has developed. A lot of people think, because they've seen many of the shows and the seminars that we've done through the years, that we built a reputation in that particular arena. But the reason that we got well known across the world wasn't because of the shows, because there's only a certain amount of people can see a show or a seminar. But a good photograph is seen by millions of people. And if you can do something that just captures people's imagination, it doesn't have to be extreme, it doesn't have to be outrageous, it has to be sexy, it has to be beautiful. And if you want to make a reputation, then people have to see your work everywhere and continually see your work. You can't just do it once, maybe twice, and then get discouraged because you don't feel as if you're getting anywhere. You really have to be, um, it really has to become a mission if you like and be constantly producing and it doesn't have to be crazy, it doesn't have to be way out there, it doesn't have to be silly. In fact, I've always been against the silly photographs. I really like clean, beautiful, clear, crisp images that you just go, wow, I love this. And in digging out all these archives, a lot of the photographs are I haven't seen for years. It's been such a pleasure. It's been a walk down memory lane. But in looking at these photographs, I see all the milestones in my career and where some of these photographs actually took me in some of very, very interesting journeys. Um, for example, this, this, this photograph here that I found last night and I haven't seen for years was the very first picture that was ever produced by Ross and we did it in 1975. It's, it's still a lovely picture. It was this, this sexy and it does a lot of things and people noticed it and they thought, oh, that's kind of cool. So it was an interesting first stepping stone. So there's many, many others and uh, maybe there's another couple of hundred somewhere to go with these that, that, um, that really, really made a big difference. And uh, you can understand why photography, hair cutting especially, um, and being able to finish and do beautiful finishes on the work and everything, why it's so important to me and so special and followed up with the photography, uh, to, just to give you a kind of idea how, how I think and what motivates me and what gets me really, really excited and how you can build a fantastic career um, just by letting people see what you have to offer.